It's affordable time. It's affordable time. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. <laughs> You're watching the 16 Cycle Hum. I've got uh, something new and different for the affordable board here. I've been teasing it a little bit. Let's open it up. One, and there's two, a moon. These are affordable boards, high gain and ambient. They're smaller than the normal affordable board. Bye. It looks like two pedals. But I wanted to have kind of some breakout concept affordable boards uh, to bleed some other stuff onto because I've been building this more along my tastes, but I think there's some real winners in the pack of affordable pedals that aren't making on here. And I want to center on those genres a little bit. These boards and bags, boards with bags, were 25 bucks each on Amazon. Feels like it took about two weeks for them to ship to me, something like that, not terribly long. Let's get the, uh, let's get the Velcro down on these and maybe I'll build one right now. Which one should we do first? Let's uh, let's pull in the big box. Oh, geez, it's getting heavy. Of uh, <laughs> of affordable pedals here. Let's start with uh, high gain first, since we've got this nano metal. What do you need for high gain? Digital delay would be fun. Still need to get Velcro on most of this stuff. I remember the Azor distortion being fun. Crunch distortion was like a radish type thing. The noise, of course the noise. We need a noise gate on this. I feel like we need something kind of a uh, tube screamer-ish. Or maybe I should have I think the chorus is going to go between the distortion or the uh, the Azor distortion or the K-minus crunch distortion. We'll decide between those two in a bit. All right, now the ambient board. I really like this for like light gain, but it kind of takes up a bunch of space. I got to have a lot of space to stack these delays and reverbs. And a delay. This one's great from Twin Note. Nice tap tempo delay. Man, this is a great fuzz. Maybe this should go on the high gain board for like doom sounds. There's a bunch of great high gain stuff. Most guys spring reverb for the ambient. Or Azor spring reverb. It's a tough decision. That's a tough decision. I remember the Leon Drive being great fun in a lighter gain sort of uh, EB booster sort of way. Nice murky analog delay. I think I'll go with the most guy spring. This K-line reverb that's kind of more like lush sounding. And this is just too big for this right now. This might make it onto the regular affordable board at some point though. It's gonna sound weird, but I think this uh, this papai fuzz from Twin Note is gonna be a good start to the ambient board. Nice kind of big square wave to work with as far as 
kind of time-based effects and whatnot. Do I have a power supply for all this? Azor sent me a power supply when they sent all their boxes. Let's start with... Whoop. <laughs> Let's start with the metal one. And if we have time, work on the ambient board. Real talk for a minute, guys. Are you putting Velcro on the entire bottom of your pedal? Knock it off. Two little strips like this is all you need. It's more than enough. I swear to you, it's going to hold your pedal down just fine. I have a feeling one of these distortions is going to disappear. I don't know which one, but one of them is. And I'm probably going to put like a chorus on here. Where does, where does a noise gate go on a high gain board? Do you put it after the drives to kill the noise when you're not playing? Or do you put it before the drives to kill the noise coming from your guitar that could be causing the noise in the gains? I'm gonna start with it after. And digital delay at the end for just a nice little doubling sort of effect. And just like that, I've used up my beloved super flat Hosa patches. Hosa, if you're watching this, send me more. <laughs> I think I used up a bunch on the big pedals board. I guess I didn't plan ahead enough when I requested a bunch of these from them. We need a modulation of some kind. Clearly I need more modulation pedals. I've got choruses and tremolos. So the Azor tremolo in there. Let's power up the metal board and getting it work get it working. I want this big muffy fuzz on here. I've got to have this rat pedal, the crunch distortion. And then maybe a chorus in between them. This is just my first go. I could change all of this. I will change all of this. That's the whole point. Like it's going to be a developing concept as I get new pedals in that are appropriate for each specific board, things will get swapped out. I'll say, you know what? This new distortion is better than that old distortion. That new chorus is better than the old one. Or this, you know, Univibe needs to go where the chorus was. Or an Ottawa needs to go where that distortion was. Things are going to get swapped out over and over and over again. That's the fun of it. really the fun of pedal board building in general. I have the power! All right. Bullet Mustang that I've refunded with paint pens and put in a kill switch and whatnot. Let's put the high gain board through its pace.
this is a Muffy style fuzz from Azor, obviously. Let's zoom in a little better. like a ratty sort of thing from the K-Maya's Crunch. Um, this is the one where the gain and the volume are swapped. This is the gain, this is the volume, but they've uh, mismatched it. Chorus. <laughs> Gotta have a chorus around for metal, right? Fab metal. Sounds great. noise do I have right now? It's killing the static, but stacking these, it's not going to kill that feedback that happened. It goes to dead silence immediately. That's great. Sounds kind of great before the fab metal. <laughs> I need an octave pedal on this, some sort of pinch, some sort of like pitch, harmonic, drop down low sort of throaty thing. <laughs>
the King Midas Crunch Distortion is going to make the cut. Let's throw in that Azor and see if I like that better. I feel like maybe even the Tube Screamer would be a better utility pedal to have on this to supply, you know, some compression before the Fab Metal. That just works a lot better, especially stacking with the fab metal. It also works well as it also works well as like a more of a low gain sort of sound. Oh boy, I am out of tune. part pretty good there. I think that's a great start to the high gain affordable board. Now to power up the ambient affordable board. Huge props to K-Mice and Most Guy and Twin Note for putting their jacks on the top. One thing that missed me a little bit about the Azores is that they have the jack on the side. I mean, small is small. These are starting out as small pedals, but come on. Tremolo should go on the end, I know. Power, 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 power. Uh-oh. What's going on with the Anna delay? All right, let's get reacquainted here. Papai Fuzz by Twin Note.
pure boost. Spring Reverb by Most Guy. Anna Delay by K Mines. Anna Delay by Twin Note. I got two Twin Notes on here. Twin Note is like a sub brand of New X. And Coco? Cuco? Something like that? Is another sub brand of New X? Nux? This is a fun one because it's tap tempo.
We did it. I'm very pleased. We've got a high gain affordable board here. Really great starting point on that. We have an ambient affordable board here. Awesome starting point on that. I feel like I could take this to church as it is right now. I just need like a volume pedal. Do I need to put a volume pedal on this? <laughs> and I can take it straight to church for like that ambient washy sort of ethereal sound. Um, obviously there's things I could do different on each board and I'll get to that as the affordable board series continues. I've got more stuff to unbox and cover here. I might do a double affordable board weekend. Saturday, Sunday, should I do it? Should I do one more tomorrow? All right, so stay tuned, stay grounded. <laughs> uh, click like, dislike, leave me rude nasty comments, support us on Patreon. Please buy a shirt. I don't sell a lot of shirts. I feel like my shirts are good. Maybe I'll make some new shirts. Yeah, if you have ideas for new shirts, let me know down below. All right, bye everybody.